Oh look, it's Shanna. Hello. So I just wanted to ask you some questions about scuba diving as you're here. Yeah, sure. So first of all, where are we? We are at Deeper Diving on ah, Carrier Cooper. This sounds promising. And is the weather always this good? Yeah, pretty nice. Brilliant. What is your favourite thing about living on a Caribbean island? I'd have to say rum punch. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, so this is this is the island. Yes, this is Carrier Cooper. And all of the circles here are uh, dive sites that we go to. Shanna, what's your favourite one? My favourite dive site is number 8, Sharky's Hideaway Part 1. Why? Because the topography is so beautiful and yeah. we always see really cool things like eagle rays and turtles and it's called Sharky's Hideaway for a reason. Ah, uh, because there's sharks there, I get it. That's it. Ah, I get it. So I hear you're a designer and that's not a question. I am a designer, yes. And did you design these shirts? I did. This one here. This one's my favorite. And then that this one's my favorite. <laughs> so tell me what a typical day here at DFA looks like. A typical day, we do two dives in the morning. And then in the afternoons, we sometimes do lionfish hunts, sometimes some beach cleans. Hey, Karen. You got to go Yes, please. Thank you. Um, Shanna, how long have you been an instructor? I have been an instructor for one year. And what is your favorite course to teach? I love teaching the... Hey Gary. I love teaching the entry level courses like open water and tri -dive. Why? I just think there's something really magical about teaching people that they can in fact breathe underwater. What's one thing that you can't go diving without? Air. Oh, so these are the oxygen cylinders. Oxygen, they're just plain old air compressed into the cylinder. And how much does one of those weigh? Full, about 40 pounds. Oh geez, yeah. <sighs> so, um, Shanna, is this your kit? This is mine, yep. And can I buy my own equipment or should it, or should I just rent equipment? You can rent equipment, but what we find is that people who buy their own are typically more comfortable in the water on their dives. This next question is going to come from Cecilia. Cecilia. Hey. Hey, Cecilia. I have a friend who wants to try diving but not take a course. What should they do? Okay, so they can do what we call a try dive. So what we do is we teach them the basics of dive theory and then we go out into shallow water, teach them a few skills, and then take them out on a real dive. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Thanks, Cecilia. Thanks, Cecilia. Shanna, what's your favorite post-dive meal after a long day? Favorite post-dive meal have to be a burger at my favorite beach bar. I'll have to go there. Yeah. Well, I'd love to keep chatting, but I gotta go diving. Whoa, 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 wait, Shanna, Shanna. Last question. Do you pee in your wetsuit? No, that's gross. <laughs> Thanks, Shanna. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>